Hello and welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. My name is Carolyn and it is such an honor as always to have you here. Today's practice is a morning yin yoga practice. Honestly, <laughs> I am not a morning person and if I'm gonna be practicing morning yoga, it's gonna be yin because I don't wanna have to get out of my PJs and I don't wanna have to move a whole lot but I know for myself that practicing yoga at the beginning of the day is incredibly impactful. There are a ton of morning yoga practices on YouTube, but not a whole lot of yin, and I know a lot of people really, really would benefit from this a lot slower and a little bit more peaceful approach to starting your day. So if that is you, then this is gonna be a perfect practice to start off your morning. So stay in the clothes that you were already in. And if you put on workout clothes, get out of those and put on your comfy clothes. Roll out your yoga mat and let's get started. Welcome to Yoga with Carolyn, teaching yoga students how to find more comfort and presence in life through the lessons of gentle Hatha and Yin yoga, no matter your shape or ability to touch your toes. So the only props that you're gonna want for today's practice are gonna be a few yoga blocks. The blanket is always an added bonus, but it is not necessary, but the blocks are gonna be helpful. If you don't have yoga blocks at home, a few heavy books will work just fine, or some pillows actually, which will be helpful with how we're actually gonna be using the props as support for your beautiful body in today's practice. So we're starting in a wide-legged child's pose. So make your way onto your hands and your knees. Knees are about the width of the mat, toes come together, and then allow your heels to come towards your hips, or sorry, your hips towards your heels rather, and then let yourself come forward. Ways in which you can support your body in this shape would be to either stack a few fists underneath of your forehead, place a few blocks underneath of your forehead and your belly, or any sort of props to help lift the floor. I know for myself, if there's one pose that I could practice every day, it would be this one. Let yourself just settle into the really still, cozy, supported aspect of the shape. No matter how you've shown up on your mat this morning, if you've rolled out of bed and you're feeling like shit, or if you rolled out of your bed and you're feeling okay, let any way that you've arrived on your mat this morning to be perfectly welcome. This is your time. So honor that. Any last shifts in the physical body so that you can really come into stillness. Soften into the jaw, soften into the upper back. And then begin to tap into that deep Take your time with lengthening and deepening and expanding the breath. Let this approach to your practice and to that deep breath be a really gentle one. breath welcoming you a little bit deeper into this moment into yourself take about three more of those deep breaths
once you have taken those three deep breaths, nice and slow, slide the hands underneath of the shoulders, keeping your legs exactly as they are, just press yourself up. So you've got that same position with the legs and you've got your hands about a step or two in front of the knees. Spread the fingers nice and wide. You can keep the eyes closed here. Trust in my voice, trust in your body, trust in the practice. Take an inhale to shine the heart forward. The chin reaches up towards the sky. On your next exhale, starting at the base of the spine, tip the pelvis, spread the shoulder blades wide. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. A few more times, inhale, belly gets heavy, shine the heart forward, chin reaches up. Exhale. One more time. Beautiful, come back into center. Right hand stays planted on the mat. Lift up into the left hand and then reach the left fingertips out towards the right behind that planted right palm. And then bring yourself down. So that left palm is shining up towards the sky. Bring the head down. If it doesn't feel comfortable to have the head down on the floor, you can grab your block and place the block underneath of your head. The right fingertips stay pressing onto the mat or the floor in front of your gaze. And then breathe. The mind is feeling like it wants to think about the day ahead, the tasks, the things that are expected of you. I'll invite you to, with such kindness and compassion, bring your awareness back to this moment. There's a reason as to why you showed up to this practice this morning. Whatever that reason may be, let that reason be what helps you stay right here. Gaining the benefits of the practice in whatever form you might be searching for. Or maybe something entirely unexpected. Move really, really slow here. You know what you're doing. Trust in that. You'll simply release out of the shape to come back into center. We'll come into the shape on the other side so that left hand stays planted. Lifting up into the right hand to then reach the right fingertips out towards the left behind that planted left hand. Shoulder comes down, head comes down. And support your body here so if it doesn't feel comfortable to have everything down on the floor raise the floor up in the form of blocks or pillows under the arm or underneath of the head
slowly release out of the shape to come back into center and then it'll probably feel pretty good to release out of that wide-legged shape. So bring yourself into your tabletop position and then do any sort of movement that might feel good here. So maybe you wanna create some circles with the hips. Maybe you wanna do a few rounds of cat and cow pose, which is the same movement in the spine that we did previously. Or maybe you wanna straighten one leg, straighten the other leg. Beautiful. And from this tabletop position, we'll come into pigeon pose. So keep that left knee planted. Pick up into the right knee first by taking an inhale to reach that right foot back, find length. And then on the exhale, bring that right knee towards the right wrist. Walk the left toes back and then support your body. So I've got a full pose tutorial on how to support and practice pigeon pose. So if you're unfamiliar with this shape, I'll leave a link to that video up above and down below. But for now, just a quick, quick recap on how to support the body. Something underneath of the right hip is essentially kind of the gist of it. So if your right hip is quite raised up away from the floor, then place something underneath of that right hip. Flexing into the right ankle will help with keeping that right knee safe. And then you get to choose if you stay upright or if you come all the way down. Support the forehead, support the forearms. Use the time that you have in this shape to create space and to invite softness. By allowing your awareness to be wrapped up in the physical sensations of the pose and of exploring how your breath can play into that space creation and that softening. It will help with allowing the mind to take a back seat. If at any point you notice the mind beginning to wander and think, a helpful tool can be to simply Label it with just a neutral term. Hmm. Thinking. And then bring it back. It's just that. It's nothing to be shameful or embarrassed or frustrated about. It's just your mind doing what it is built to do. But it can sometimes help with just taking a neutral approach. Noticing thinking hmm. and then bringing it back is there anywhere else you can soften Please take three more deep breaths here. Once you have taken those three deep breaths, 
Allow the hands to come underneath the shoulders if you've come forward. Press yourself up. A little bit of a different way to release out of this shape. <laughs> and as I'm making my way into it, I'm noticing that I'm gonna have my back to you, but that's okay, bear with me. So instead of pressing back up into a tabletop position, bring yourself onto your right hip and then turn towards the left side of your mat so that then you find yourself with, I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> so that then you find yourself with your right foot in and your left foot out towards the side. So you bring yourself onto your hips and then you found yourself here, you're turned towards the side of your mat. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, we're gonna come into a forward fold. So the way in which you can support your body before you come down into this forward fold would be to maybe have some sort of a cushion underneath of your sit bones so you can create a little bit more of a tilt to the pelvis to create space. And we are gonna be turning towards that extended leg out towards the side. Your blocks might be really helpful to raise the floor up and support your body once you make your way there. Start by flexing into that left foot. So I'm mirroring you here. So flexing into that left foot and then taking an inhale to reach the fingertips up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, bring yourself forward and down. There can be this idea sometimes that a forward fold is better if your forehead is closer towards the knee. It actually doesn't really matter what the shape looks like. As long as you are finding sensation somewhere, then you are doing this pose perfectly. Let yourself soften. Softening into the upper back. Releasing into the back of the neck. If it helps to take a couple of exhales out the mouth, you can do that. Taking three more deep breaths here. Once you have taken those three deep breaths, let your release be really supported and really slow. The head is the last thing to come up as you walk yourself in. Once the head comes up, you can untwist the spine, bring yourself back forward. Take a second and pause and just notice. And then slowly, before we make our way into the pigeon shape on the other side, move those props out of the way. 
Nice counter stretch after forward fold is to then bring the feet in front of you and then bring the hands behind you, fingertips away from you, and then press into the palms of the hands to shine the heart up towards the sky. Beautiful, releasing out of that shape. Make your way back into your tabletop position. Once you make your way into your tabletop position, ground into that right knee, extend into that left foot. Take a big inhale. On the exhale, bring that left knee towards the left wrist. Walk that right foot back. Support, support, support. <laughs> so bring your props into it. Take your time, set yourself up. There's no rush here. You'll notice here I'm kind of tipping over towards the side to help bring that foot forward because you get to choose. The closer the foot is towards the front, more sensation. Closer the foot is towards the groin, less sensation. And then once you do find that position, bringing those hips back into center because you want your hips to be nice and level. Support that left hip. Choose if you'd like to stay upright or if you'd like to come forward and down. Once you make your way forward, what supports will be helpful underneath of the forehead, the forearms, the chest? How can you create space for your body here? So if forward and down is not fully comfortable and you wanna come over towards the right to create a little bit more space for the front line of your body, then that's also an option. So really, really let yourself get creative and curious about your practice. There's no shoulds. Don't get too caught up in the perfect alignment of the shape or where am I meant to feel this. Tap into this really collaborative and wise experience of working with your body. back into that breath. Explore what it would feel like to find a little bit more expansion and a little bit more length to your inhales and your exhales. If you notice the mind beginning to wander, you can use that neutral tool of simply catching it and labeling it, hmm, thinking. And it's not this big, scary, bad thing. It's just a thing that happens. Bring yourself back to the reason that you are practicing this practice this morning. Maybe it's to find more presence, more calm, more intention, or just you want to be stretching it out. Whatever the answer to that is, bring that back into it. Let this practice be potent and intentional. Three more beautiful deep breaths, please.
Once you have, take in those three deep breaths. Start with the hands. Hands come underneath of the shoulders. And press yourself back up. And then I'm actually gonna be facing you this time. <laughs> so rolling onto that left hip to then turn towards the front so that then you've got leg out, foot in, but I'm mirroring you here, so you're coming into this position. So left foot in, right leg out. And then set yourself up. So support yourself underneath of your sit bones. Bring your props nearby towards that extended leg. And then turning towards that extended leg. First, take an inhale, reach the fingertips up towards the sky, find length. And then on the exhale, leading with the heart, come forward and down. Support, support, support. Use anything nearby to support your practice. If you've got a pillow or a blanket or a sweater, and you wanna use that to create a little bit of a structure or a building to maybe support your forehead, there's no perfect or specific or right way to support your body in these shapes. Something that works for me might not necessarily work for you and vice versa. So again, explore, get curious. One of the ways in which you can get really intentional about creating space, especially in a forward fold, is to use that fluid aspect of your breath. So as you inhale into the body, you encourage a lengthening to come into the spine and a little bit of a rise to come into the upper body. And then on the exhale, you soften, leading with the heart into the space that you've just created. And it's that over and over again, inhaling, lengthening into the spine, finding that slight rise of the upper body. And then on the exhale, you settle and fall and surrender into the space that you've just created. Take three more deep breaths just like that. Once you have taken those three deep breaths, nice and slow, Walk yourself in and up, head comes up last. Untwist the spine, take a second and just pause and notice. Beautiful, and then we'll meet in a comfortable seat, a cross-legged position. So you can turn towards the front end of your mat and just bring the feet in, cross-legged. Before we end the practice and you roll out your yoga mat and go on with the rest of your day, just take a second and stay here. Stay within that space, that energy that you've created to really fill up your cup at the beginning of your day. Take an inhale, reach the hands all the way up overhead, spread the fingertips wide. On the exhale, bring the hands into heart center, pressing the palms together, thumbs are pressing in towards the heart. 
before you end the practice, take a second and choose what it is that you would like to carry forward with you from this practice to help really nourish and support your day, your schedule, and the way in which you show up. And then let's take one last breath together, you and I, inhale nice and big. Out the mouth, exhale. Opening the eyes. Thank you so, so much for joining me in this morning's yin yoga practice. I truly hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoyed today's practice, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more morning yoga practices, longer ones, shorter ones. I will also leave a link to another 10 minute morning yoga practice that I created a little while ago. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It is the best way to help support more free online accessible yoga practices. From my heart to yours, until next time, namaste.